our neighbors crack the windows open and we chatter and for all that we're trying to pull us out because the smoke, I guess, really made us not want to get out. And um, we all made it out, or so we thought. And I remember my mother trying to get back in and um, get something. I was only 12. My sisters were younger. I was the oldest. And um, I couldn't yet grasp everything that was going on. It was obvious the house was on fire. The flames were burning. There was a lot of crackling. Windows were shattered. Everything was just a mess. But my mother couldn't get in. And um, the firefighter grabbed her, put a blanket on her, and just took her away. And she started calling us, the girls. We were four girls. One was a newborn. She was at the hospital. But the three of us, she called us by name we were first. She said, Adriana. And I was afraid and I answered. And then she said, Daniela. Nothing. My youngest one, she answered. Her name was Corina. And by the time she answered, I realized something just just is just wrong. And I couldn't accept it. I ran in my neighbor's house. The window was facing my home and I just grabbed my face into my hands and I said, oh no, where is she? Well, my mom was taken away because she just couldn't handle the idea of losing a child. But it was obvious, she was not coming out. And 30 minutes later, the firefighter said, she's dead, she's dead, she died. She's burned severely, so we need to take her with us. I was frozen. I couldn't move. I couldn't think. I didn't know what to do. But then and then, I remember telling myself, you know what? It hurts. But I have to be strong. Being the oldest, I've said that to myself over and over. But that night, it felt different. I had a choice to make. Was I going to just go down with it? Or was I going to be strong for my little sister? Diana was nine years old, I was 12, and my youngest one, she was five. And I can still remember her little tiny body, waves, blonde, reddish hair. And she said, what's wrong? What's going on? I said, come here. That must have been the first time ever as a sister that I really valued her. My dad was crying, sitting on the ground, and I remember he liked to sleep he was there on the floor with his big, white, curly hair, just pulling his hand and saying, why, why? And everything burned to the ground. We are all in pajamas. It was winter. It was January 11th. And my neighbors just didn't know what to do. How do you show compassion to someone who's lost everything, including a loved one? It was that night that I talked to myself, how is it all going to come back together? Is it ever? It didn't. My parents were alcoholics, so they all blamed on my dad, thinking that he's with the fire. It's true, the night before they did have a party, and 